The second excerpt is from the chapter on Cuba from the Garden to the Queen. So here we go. The second dive was the one we've been waiting for, the silky shark dive. The mooring, called Pippin, was about half a mile further to the west. These silky sharks are gorgeous. They are rusty brown, almost copper colored, with a purple iridescence on the upper surfaces. When a couple of big ones arrived, it was time to dive. The sharks are conditioned to divers, obviously. They barely moved out of the way when we hit the water. We all did a quick 360 to see what was around, just as a big 10 footer came into my peripheral view a couple of feet away. Then another big one and another as they sucked up the sardines being thrown to them from the pango. Compared with other oceanic species, the bigger individuals have a quiet disposition, not bothered by the excitement, whereas the smaller four footers were zipping in and out of the action. The last time I saw a 10 foot silky shark in the Caribbean was maybe 50 or 60 years ago when I was a young boy fishing with my dad, catching blackfin tuna in his 26 foot canoe off the south side of Jamaica. Big silky sharks would swim up to the side of the boat and pick off the tuna as we wound them in on our pen 4 o reels. Since then, long lining and the shark fin trade have annihilated silky sharks, oceanic white tips, black tips, reef, blue, and mako sharks in the Caribbean and the Western Atlantic.